A funny thing that my mind does is this. I'll get a semblance of a thought, then I go immediately to record it, to write it down so I don't forget it. It's like I don't trust myself to remember it when it's gone. But in doing that, I'm actually losing it. Essentially, there's macro lessons that the universe will give you, but I don't receive them because I'm leaving the classroom to go write down these micro lessons that I'm getting. I don't get to see how one thing connects to the other, connects to the other in the end, because I don't want to get lost. I'm afraid of getting lost because I don't want to forget how I got there. However, in order to not get lost, I don't ever receive the true lesson that's needed. To get the macro lesson, you can't keep track. It's like I'm back in math class, how we had to show our work, show how we got to a specific conclusion, but with life and with true knowledge, that's not necessary. And it may not even be possible. What's important is knowing the truth and knowing what's right. It's more important to have that than to be able to explain concisely to others all the ways in which you reach that conclusion. It has to flow without consciously remembering. Let go of the wheel. It has to drive. And when you come back from your macro lesson, you'll have the knowledge as if it's a room with a shining idol in the middle. You'll have the idol, but you just won't have the lead up to it, the winding tunnels in which it took you to get there. You have to let go of the rope that's gonna guide you back in order to just let that stream of consciousness flow. So don't try to bring that consciousness back to reground yourself. You have to get lost to get the lesson and the lesson will stand on its own. The knowledge is enough to have. You don't have to show your work anymore. It's enough to just know.